welcome back to Benjamin. It's my name's Benjamin, and let's chat for a minute. So on Tuesday, I posted a video of myself playing Pokemon Go in town. And I feel like that got me some Pokemon street cred. So it's time to lose all that cred by taking a Pokemon quiz. So I had a quiz sent to me on Sparknotes, which is basically the site that saved my entire high school career. And the quiz is titled, Can You Pick the Pokemon Names Out of This List of Shakespeare Characters? And this ought to be interesting because I hate Shakespeare, and I've only ever played part of one other Pokemon game. Time to frustrate the hell out of all the Pokemon fans out there. Stop typing, I haven't even taken the quiz yet. Which of these is the name of a Pokemon? Ragazine, Mardian, or Quilava? It has the word lava in it. So it feels like it would just be the name of some like lava type dude or does, does Pokemon have a lava type? I don't know, it'd probably be like fire type or something. His attack would involve lava. That That's a Pokemon. That is definitely a Pokemon. That is definitely a po- Hey! I, I got it! I did it! <laughs> Vivalon, Dionysa, or Peace Blossom. I feel like that last one has to be a trick, right? There's no way they would make it that obvious. The other two could easily be normal human names. I'm gonna go with my gut instinct. God damn it. Oh, Peace Blossom's a fairy from A Midsummer Night's Dream. Phoebus, Arkite, or Iacmo? Iacimo. Whoa. I'm gonna go with Arkite. Arkite sounds... Arkite sounds kind of like a rock Pokemon. Arkite, 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 Arkite. Fuck! <laughs> Phoebus is that dumb looking fish. Pokemon from Generation 3. At least this quiz knows that it's giving me dumb Pokemon. Like, come on, dude. I'm not gonna remember the dumb ones. I barely remember the cool ones. Antonor, Gonorrhea, Gonril, Gonril, not Gonorrhea, Gonril. <laughs> Gonorrhea, I choose you. Or Kingler. Oh, shit! I fucking know this one! I know Kingler! That is a Pokemon! Because he's in the game I just played! <laughs> Bag it? Whoa, that's really close to something else. Where's it Bagot? It's probably Bagot. Gardevoir or Quintus? Quintus sounds like the intelligent character of a Shakespeare story. Or a Pokemon. Gardevoir. Gardevoir? That one's the hardest to pronounce, so I'm gonna go with that one. <laughs> If I can't pronounce it, it's a Pokemon. Mopsa, Polydor, or Giratina. Is Polydor that one that looks like a really low res raptor? I, I think I, I think I know I think I know that one. I think I know that one. I know that one. Let's put all my street cred on the line. I know this one. Polydor. Double or nothing. Boom! Oh fuck. Well, there goes my street cred. Lysander, Lodovico, and Ludiculo. Wait a second, isn't Lysander that guy from Game of Thrones? What the fuck, Shakespeare stealing shit from Game of Thrones? A series that aired in 2011? You plagiarizing son of a bitch. Lodovico and Ludicolo are so goddamn close to each other. Like, even if I knew this character, I wouldn't know. Which of these sounds the least pretentious? Lodovico. I mean, Colo. I misclicked. Amara, Saramon, and Mowbray. Fuck, dude, what is with these names? Where's Pikachu? I know Charmander. Mowbray sounds the least like a real name. YOLO. God damn it. Gobo? Would it be Gabo? Audino or Flavius? The person who made this quiz is a genius. I'm gonna say Gabo and his whole thing is that like he's got a really freaking huge gob, like a gigantic mouth. Sorry, Gabo. I didn't mean to insult you or your Steven Tyler-esque mouth. Florizel, Pandolf, the pansexual Rudolph, or Mincino. Florizel is a very floral sounding name. The problem with that is it could be another fairy again. I'm betting it all on pansexual. Sexual Rudolph. Fuck. <laughs> I only got three out of ten. Yikes. Okay, not so great. Look, it's not a big deal. This is actually probably a good thing. Get out there and learn some Pokemon. Read a book. Is Pokemon a book? Well, like, I guess it probably has manga. I guess that counts as a book. Huh. Alternatively, maybe this is not really a wake-up call so much as a life affirmation. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, hey, you may have failed this quiz something terrible, but at least you spent your childhood playing outside. That is horribly inaccurate. That's right, nerds. I got a life. What do you got? You got Pokemon that could probably rip me in half if they were real, but they're not. So what? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs>